Hi guys, welcome back. Imagine your company selling biscuits in North India, South India and overseas also. In this case, to track all the selling activities, your pricing and uh, your revenue separately. So in that case, uh, to manage all the sales and services, in this case, it is purely sales. We should have something called sales organization. Just like purchase organization or through purchase organization, we are managing purchase activities. Similarly, through sales organization, we are going to manage the sales activities. The sales organization is also one of our uh, organization structure or the highest level in our SD module. So that means under this sales or under this sales organization, we are going to manage our sales and distribution activities. Selling of product and services, negotiating with customers, with sales terms, revenue reporting, all these things we are managing with the sales organization. The pricing, discounts, taxes, and all these configurations also linked with your sales organization. Through this pricing procedure, we are going to have a detailed control parameters related to sales organization. And it also has a connection with our master data that is related to our customer master. So in future, when we are going to create our business partners or customer master, that time also we are going to use this uh, sales uh, related settings. The pricing conditions, which is there in the pricing procedure, that also we are going to manage with a sales organization. So that means you can say that uh, without sales organization, the sales activities are not possible. Now let's create the sales organization for our requirement point of view. So again, it is part of your de uh, definition. Go to enterprise structure, then go to definition. Then we will go to sales and distribution module. So under this sales and distribution, we will create one sales organization. So under one entity, multiple sales organization will be there. Let's say domestic sales, we are going to manage with one sales organization. Overseas sales, we are going to manage with another sales organization. But our demonstration purpose, I will create one sales organization. Define sales organization, new entry. And as per our example, we are, take, we are going to take here A1SO. A1 SO and this will be our sales organization. Currency, statistical currency I have maintained INR, but reporting or I mean the transaction point of view, we can post the transaction in any currency. Some more details if you want to maintain, you can maintain here. sales organization okay other details you can fill so i will just maintain here our central sales office in delhi Now this sales organization we need to assign to our company code too. So go to assignment to assign the sales organization to company code. So again back to assignment, go to sales and distribution, assign your sales organization to company code. So this is our sales organization A1SO and company code. Save everything we are going to save or anything we are going to save that will be under one tr will be there now check your organization structure so our company code a hundred so now a a uh, hundred is connected with the plant a hundred is connected with our sales organization so a hundred is our company code that is connected with your plant a hundred is also connected with our sales organization a hundred is also connected with the purchase organization right so continuously we keep adding our organization structure components and this hierarchy also continuously keep on increasing if i will expand so all the areas you can see everything is connected under plant the company code purchase organization is linked similarly if i will expand the plant the storage locations and in there so everything you will find there is a connection between each other some interview questions related to sales organization. So can a sales organization we can assign with multiple company codes? No. So one sales organization you can't assign with multiple company codes, whereas one company code can have multiple sales organization. Can one plant assign to multiple sales organization? One plant can be assigned to multiple uh, 
uh, cells organization? Yes, po possible. Let's say under one plant, we are manufacturing, a multi I mean, whatever the product we are selling in domestic market, also we are exporting. So in that case, two cells organizations will be there. So that's why uh, one plant can be assigned with multiple sales organization. If your organization is selling same biscuits in different way, means they are selling in the retail shops, we are selling in the wholesalers, also we have the online presence. So that means we have B2B and we have D2C, both options are available. So in this case, your pricing will be different, your discount, your delivery terms, all these things will be different. So for that purpose, we have something called distribution channel in SAP. So by using this distribution channel in SAP, it is the way how we are going to deliver our goods to our customers and how we are going to sell our products to the customers. So it is used for pricing, it is used for your sales reporting, for delivery terms, right? So for that purpose, we should have something called a distribution channel. Again, this is also one of our organization structure. So through this distribution channel, we are going to have different sales, uh, sales strategies because how we are going to deal with our B2B business, the same way we are not going to deal with our D2C, direct to customer, right? So in that case, we have two different sales strategies should be there. So that is why different pricing procedures should be there. Different pricing conditions should be there. Your discount structure will be different, right? So that's why we should have multiple distribution channels in our sales, uh, sales point of view. Now let's create the distribution channel, which is part of your, uh, again, SD. So if you want to create new, so go to definition, then go to, so first go to enterprise structure, then go to definition, then go to sales and distribution, then you are going to create your distribution channel. So here you are going to create your distribution channel. So let's check this one. Define, copy, delete distribution channel. So define distribution channel. So here if you want to create, you can just click on new entry and create something, whatever you want. to. So it's a free field, anything you want to add, you can add. So in my demonstration, I will not create because I can see here one B2B option is there which I, I created earlier. So I, I'm going to use that one for our demonstration purpose. It's very simple. Just click on new entry and anything you want, you can add it. So in our example, we are going to use E1. So distribution channel will be E1. And this distribution channel also, we are going to assign to our sales organization. So for that, we need to go to assignment here and uh, go to sales and distribution. The first node we have already completed, the sales organization assignment with the distribution channel, use the second node, assign distribution channel to the sales organization. Under sales organization, multiple distribution channels possible. So click on new entry, sales organization one SO, we have created in another video and the distribution channel we are going to use as E1. Save.